Yankees swept the Tigers over the weekend. Um, the Tigers have really good pitching and a serviceable bullpen, but they can't hit. Mm. So I don't know if they're going to go out and try to make a move because their their offense is Javi Baez can't play anymore. It's so sad. This guy was a, even when he was at the Mets playing second base, he was a good player, but he can't hit anymore. Breaking ball away, he just waves at it. And then Spencer Torkelson had 31 home runs last year. He has zero. He has zero this year. So if those two guys aren't going to hit, unless they make this big dynamic move. Now, Riley Green, former first-round draft pick, has really played well. He has a top war in the American League. But um, Yankees took care of business. They got great pitching. Again, Nestor Cortez was amazing. Their bullpen has been absolutely amazing. But when you're going to talk about the Yankees right now, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I, I saw almost every single one of Judge's 62 home runs in his MVP season. And he is a very special player. Juan Soto is, is a different cat, man. It's a different sort of player. Juan Soto is just excelling on the stage. The, the, his impending free agency doesn't seem like it bothers him. And really, why should it? If you think about it, once he turned down $440 million from the Nationals, every year was like the pressure to get to the finish line. He has embraced this. He's embraced the crowd. He came up in the, uh, the bottom of the seventh inning yesterday. Bases loaded against a tough left-hander, Andrew Chafin. And he just puts great bats together, great bats together. And he hit a double into the corner, scored three runs. His his batting average with runners in scoring position is exorbitantly high. And his batting average with runners in scoring position against lefties is also incredibly high. This guy is second in the American League to Sal Perez in terms of RBIs. He does everything great. And, you know, sometimes you see him styling out of the box, right? Well, in 25 at-bats with runners in scoring position, he's hitting 440 with 22 runs batted in and an OPS of 1.380. So, you know, he plays hard. Every ground ball he runs down to first base like his hair is on fire. So he's not one of those guys who lopes to first base. He does look at home runs, and he almost got burned in uh, in Baltimore when the ball banged off the wall. He got a triple. But, boy, is he good. Don, I don't know how much you get a chance to watch oh, him. Oh, yeah. He is something no, special. He's, no, man. he's terrific. And, and, and this is going to sound crazy because it's the New York Yankees. <laughs> he he might price himself out of here. Like, what if he has just an absolute monster year? Could you see teams or a team going north of 50 a year? Oh, the Mets will. And, uh, and because the Mets, I mean, they might not have a good year this year, and, and so that puts more pressure to get him. And, and I just, uh, and if these numbers, and because then he's going to, he's going to check a lot of boxes, right? Like he can handle New York and, and all that. And again, I, I think he probably wants to be a Yankee, but he's got Boris as his agent, so he's going to want to get top dollar. Don, I got to tell you something. I believe that where every sign is going to get over fifty. A year. And, and 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 I and, and I just wonder, would the Yankees go there with with Judge's contract still Stanton left on his contract? Cole, how much he's making a year? And again, those are all bargains. The way those guys can play, you know, not Stanton, but clearly Cole and Judge. But at at some point, you know, you're going to. We've seen it. The Yankees. Have a, a budget. They have a limit. Did they, and will they go there? Now, you could say, well, they made the trade. They had to know there was the possibility it could explode. So they must think there's at least a chance that they could resign him. But if he has the kind of year I'm thinking he's going to have, Michael, it, it might actually go to a stratosphere the Yankees aren't willing to go. It's going to be it's going to be a fascinating offseason. It, it really will be. I, and I love, I, I, I look at social media after the game. Give him a blank check. I mean, <laughs> stop being a jerk. A blank check. So what if the Yankees and Steve Cohen give him a blank check? How high does it go? $100 million a year? Nobody gets blank checks. Nobody. Nobody gets blank checks. I know you, I know you hate the phrase good problem, in the fu- but the funny thing is it is a good problem you're hoping for. That he has a great year? That the year is so great that he costs, uh, that he, you, know, you worry you have to pay him $60 million. It is a good problem, but it, but it, as, if what Don says is true, and the Yankees have always been, you know, they spend a lot of money, but they also do draw lines in the sand. Like if Cohen goes to sixty million a year, would the Steinbrenner hey, family be willing to do that? I don't know. I've always said the worst case scenario for Yankee fans if the Mets have a really disappointing year, and they're going to want to make up for it to their fans at what's happened would then be two straight years of disappointments. 
that Cohen just decides to write the check and says, be damned, I'll give him $60 million a year, I don't care. And if that happens, I don't, I don't, the Yankees are not going to go that high. Look at look what they did with Judge. By, then this is a guy that you benefited from for years. You made the judges' chambers. They, they still negotiated. They didn't give a blank check. So you think after one year they're going to give Soto a blank check? Yeah, that, nobody, that's a, gets that's a, a, nobody gets a blank check. Nobody gets a no, but but that's the, see that's where Cohen could make a huge difference. Just laying in the, the way, weeds there, playing responsible, not going crazy, and then all of a sudden he pounces. And then blow it in the right spot. <laughs> now here's the thing, though, Michael. Like, is Judge cool enough and understanding enough that like he would ex- like be able to handle Soto getting more? I believe he is. Like, it would be worth it to him. Well, I mean, for- moving forward, Peter, this is the second year of his contract. So right? he knows he's never going to be the top one again. So he's got seven more years. The way the game is trending, people are going to make more than $40 million a year. He's got to, he's got to accept that. So does he, he want to win a well championship? Soto. Well, then you want a 25-year-old Juan Soto along the ride with you. Right. It's going to be someone. Might as well be him. Hey, guys. Um, I wanted to talk about, before I get to Peter being the biggest fraud oh, in the no. radio, wow. I want to talk about the Yankee. I kind of don't care Yankees, about your first uh, point. Okay. Well, no one what? cares about that. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, so why is Boone, what is going on with this lineup? I know they just swept the Tigers, but if you look at how they played the Orioles, it was pretty bad offense. I think they should put Soto first, and then... Judge and then Verdugo and then either Stanton or um, Why would you want Soto in twenty five percent of his at bats? You're guaranteeing okay, that he so comes up with nobody Soto on base. First, why so then why not put the I think just Soto and Judge have to be flip flopped. I know the whole lefty righty thing, but Boone's really into that. But I think Judge should be hitting in front of Soto. Well, I thought that way too. Uh, because I think Judge would see better pitches, but so far it's worked out fine. They're 10 games over 500, and, you know, Volpe well, has not been not hitting. Orioles. Excuse me? They can't beat the Orioles. And now well, they, they, they lost three or four. Like what, what do you mean they can't thing. beat them? What does that mean? They beat one of them once out of four times. They've got nine games remaining. What do you mean they can't beat them? Each game was close. They just don't look good against them. Their pitching is too good. Well, I'll tell you what. <sighs> like here, here's a little secret, Dennis. The Orioles are damn good. It's not like you lost to the, you know, like, a, a bad team like, I don't know, the Marlins. The, the Orioles are great. They're going to be trouble. They're going to be great. They're going to be great for a few years now. 